Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. This time we're going over some figures from the House of X-Wave. Charles Xavier, Magneto, Cyclops, and Wolverine. Ah uh, yes, the classic four. Before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Jesse Heck Creative, hit the bell icon for more creativity, and leave a comment answering the question, who is your favorite character in this wave? Now let's get to it. So Professor X is next, and this is no getup that I know of his. I like the concept, I'm not a fan the execution on this. But let's just go over the head. The head's the coolest part of the figure, bar none. He's in a black bodysuit for the rest, it's kind of boring, but this is really cool, really nice. It's like a mega cerebro thing. Looks nuts. I like the X on the front. I like the I love these tubes. They're really flexible, really cool. Looks like sort of like a... You can maybe use this side for a drone or something, for Mysterio or whatever. Looks really cool. Head goes back this far, down this far. Around, pretty well goes up, goes around. The joints are pretty stiff. Even though this is a really old mold they have from like 2014 or something. Goes up, goes down, all the way around. Pretty cool. Chest goes down, not that far, back not that far. Here on that. Goes out this far, up really good, back not so much. Goes up this far, kicks the butt, really good. No swivel here. And down, and up, and pivot. And two bagels on the bottom of the feet. He also has butterfly joints. They're just okay. Don't really go to in or out. They're not really that useful, at least. He comes with different hands. He comes with pointing hand and a... He comes with two different pointing hands. Taking the hands off is kind of difficult. There we go. He's got one for this, and one for this. So, one if you work at Disneyland, or the other if... He also comes with these pointing hands, one hand with one finger, the other with two in case you work at Disneyland. This one has a roll of the dice motion on the hand at least. That's pretty new, pretty good. I think it's reused from G. Jonah Jameson. And this goes up and down, the usual kind of thing. I think it's probably reused from the other Professor X in the chair. But the coolest and best thing about this figure, and the reason I think everyone's getting him, is this head right here. Which can easily be kit bashed and used with the other figure. And for some reason, it's not really wanting to go in. I think it actually is supposed to be used with the other figure. Either that or I'm being too gentle with it. I don't want to rough up this joint, or at least this sort of effect right here. And it kind of wants to go in, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to kind of leave it on a half, at least, and just make him look like that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but I think it's meant for the other figure, mostly, at least. It's sort of for people who have been collecting for a while. It's a little off-center on mine for some reason. I think maybe I wrecked it a little bit when trying to put it on, but honestly, if you have a figure body and you have a figure head that come in the same set, they should work together and should not be backwards compatible to anything that are, is a couple of years ago because they should have people who want to get this figure and want to use all the parts with it, but if it doesn't work with it, then why have it in the set? That's a very big, sort of dumb move. As bro. Professor X stands at about six and a quarter inches tall. Here is Professor X next to the other Professor X in the wheelchair, and the alternate head works really well on him. I like it a lot. Looks pretty cool. It's hard to put on, but once you get it on, it looks great. And also, Jesse Heck Creative. They say it's not polite to point, but twice? Nay, three times? Yeesh. So here's Magneto out of package, and I'm not really a fan of this Magneto. I like the other one better. The purple and red color scheme is really good. This color scheme is actually pretty good as well, yet I'm not a fan of it on Magneto himself. Be good for some other character, at least. The sober and white color scheme would be nice. Let's take a look at this guy from the head down. Taking off the cape. The cape's really good, at least. Just going over this real quick. It looks good. Nice pearly sheen. With the silver over here with the bevels coming out, the little sort of balls. That looks good. Moving on to the head. Head looks great. Some pits over here. Nice little sort of scarab looking motif with the sort of pinchers here or horns. The face is printed really well. It looks very nice. And that'd be pretty cool at least. Looks good on this guy. Not really a big fan of the whole figure itself, but head looks nice. Magneto's head also goes back this far and forward this far, hindered a little bit by the helmet. Moving on to the body. Crunch down over here, good. Crunch back over here, very nice. Very nice paint application on here as well, especially on the belt as well. Had to take a good look at that belt and make sure it looks nice. Painted all the way around, looks really good. 
and stripes and the legs are good too over there on the arms the arms go out right here look very nice they can go all the way around very smooth joint as well doesn't really crack or crash against anything in here and it works really nicely the arm can go around this much over here all the way around and then goes up this much right over here this looks really nice this little gauntlet type deal really nice really good the hands over here for some reason are holding things I much rather would have had these swapped out for blast effects or something they go up and down in the roll of the dice motion there's also alternate hands you could place on like this one right here this fist you can go up and down with that up this much down that much you also have a power wielding effect hand with no effects to wield very weird goes up goes down that much and yeah that's basically it not a big fan of this guy but moving on to the waist, it goes around, 360, the belt doesn't hinder it at all. A lot of pouches on that, I really like that belt a lot. It goes out this far on the legs, it goes in this far, it goes up and back this far, not really too much. Swivel at the top, a little bit tight, but pretty good. Back, doesn't really go that far, it doesn't really kick the butt at all, it's a shame. Swivel at the boot, really nice, it goes down this much up this much very hard detents on that be careful around with the pivot and then two peg holes on the feet and Magneto's good he isn't the best not really my favorite figure of this wave at least the cape also has this little sort of peg and then another peg over here kind of frustrating to get it on but once you get it on it works out pretty well Magneto's good but not the best and yeah he just Magneto he does come with some build the figure pieces the heads for the tri-sentinel and yeah he's good I like his hands that he has at least it would work for other figures and stuff but he isn't my favorite of this entire wave because his cape actually does make him very top heavy Magneto stands at about six and a quarter inches tall here's Magneto next to the Magneto from the three pack which I like way more and Jesse Heck creative this color will befall on you later on this year doom mark my words Ooh. Yeah, ooh, did I do it right? Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So here's Cyclops, and I love the color scheme on him. He looks really cool with the blue, and the dark blue and the light blue look really nice together. His gauntlets are really cool. Yet he used the same body that he's been using for years, the Bucky Cat body. It should be called the Cyclops body from now on. So let's take a look at him. The head looks really good, same Cyclops head we've been seeing for a while. Looks very nice. The deco, I like the color scheme on this. The face is printing, printed really well and painted really well. I like the silver on here, and the blue is a nice touch too. Moving on to the body, goes back this far, over this far, crunch down, crunch back, pretty well. Goes around, pretty okay. Same as before, we've seen this body a million times. Pouches in the belt are really nice, I like how they did each little button. On its own, its own color. Goes out this far, back this far with that. Goes to touch the butt pretty well. The mold is kind of dying. Sort of, we have it going around here on this. We have it going around here on this with a swivel on that. Really nice stripes over here. Goes down this far, up this far. Pivot and peg holes upon the feet. The arm goes out this far with both. Goes down, goes all the way around doesn't really crash too much into the body swivels up here very nice deco I like that a lot goes up here I think this might be a new arm there are there's pinless joints there's that oh, what's weird huh so apparently the arms are new that's nice I kinda like that that's good goes down here up here pivot at least or goes around yeah um Oh, this, this, this hand too goes up this far, down this far, swivels around. And the function with this hand, why it's like this, is because you take that off, put this on. This head, very nicely done. I like the paint on this. Looks really cool. It's very menacing. But if you put it in just right with this kind of thing, you can actually make him do his cool blast effect. So I think it works like that. Doesn't It doesn't work like the other way. It works both ways. Okay, that's interesting. So you can have the effect, the sort of like sheen. There's a sort of uh, pattern on the top, and it's flat on the bottom. 
put the pattern on the top section, put that into his eyes, and just sort of have him do this. And that's how he activates his blast effect on. In, and it won't really doesn't really want to move. There we go. Yeah, get that sort of level of articulation in there. Move that around. That's pretty fun. Get that in there. Yeah, that's nice. Sort of a hackneyed pose, but looks better from the top or the bottom. From the side, it just looks like a little line. Looks very nice right there. Cyclops looks pretty cool like this. I like his deco, but it's the same kind of thing we've been seeing for years, and I'm just sick of it. I like how they've sort of updated everything and given us this one. I wish they give us a classic Cyclops with the hole in the head. That'd be way better for this blast effect right here. It's a cool figure. Cool blast effect. Not like super cool, but just, just good. Also, he comes with the arm for the Tri-Sentinel, the left arm. And yeah, that's that's really cool, I guess. Really sleek and nice. Is this arm better than this figure? Well, I guess. Let's find out. So let's see what's going on. Cyclops is good. Yeah, just moving on. Cyclops stands at just 6 inches tall. Here's Cyclops next to the classic Cyclops from the Warlock Wave on the same Bucky Cap body. With a little more cheesy looking deco, at least the color. We also have a brighter sort of lemon yellow Cyclops that I created myself, a Kip Bash, on the right side. Looks pretty cool. It's on the Sunfire body, and I think this would be a little better for him moving on. More articulation and better joints at least. And also we have Jesse Heck Creative. Hey, three eyes, what's up? So here we have Wolverine, the double pack of the wave with no build a figure, but everyone's gonna get him because he's Wolverine and I think he's great. Looks really cool. I love his look. I really like the sort of brown choice and the yellow here. Although it's different from the other one, which is a little more vibrant. This is a little more subdued, a little more real. I love these arms. They're really nice. They look great. Good paint on those. It's a little bit darker claws. That's pretty cool. The boots are nice too. The sculpt and the head. Let's go over the head first. I like this sort of visage right here. We have sort of silvery eyes. He has a nice smile. Good deco on that. The paint's kind of sort of spotty. I think the face is, the whole head is in brown and the rest is in yellow, I guess. Or the whole head's in yellow, I don't know. But it just looks good. I like how it looks. Looks nice. Good chin there. Good chin there, Logan. Looks very good. We also have an alternate portrait with a beard. That looks pretty cool. I think the eyes are a little bit better on this one. And honestly, does it look good on this body? I might have this be an old man brown suit Logan with my new one. The head's a little hard to put on, but once you get it on, it looks great. Yeah, that's fine. Looks pretty good. Yeah, cool, nice. All right, so as for the body, he goes down this far, back this far, around for the head, goes down this far, back this far, with both heads, I believe. Shouldn't be too much difference, at least, with the, with the beard or not. Arms go out, up this far, around, all the way, swivel with the bicep right over here, very nice. A little bit hindered a little bit, but you gotta move it past something if you wanna move it all the way around. Elbow joint doesn't really come up too much, not really that great at all. These little mm, sort of claws are just kind of, you know, I may have to heat them up and change them out a little bit, but you can rotate the wrist and go up and down with it. The legs can go out this far, really far, very nice. Goes up this far, that looks good for that. They spread out a little bit, you know, he can still sit though like a normal person. Back, very far. You gotta watch out for, you know, scuffage when you, you know, pose it sometimes. You can kind of scuff on the top a little bit, and that looks kind of... I can already see the paint coming off on the middle seam, so maybe it's misaligned or something. Goes around over here, and then back, and then out. No boot cuff! I thought there was a boot cuff, but that's weird. There isn't a boot cuff. There should be. There really should be. Huh. Kinda sucks. Go down, go up, pivot, and two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And Hasbro has actually done a really good thing and put the writing for the figure on the bottom, the little codes. That's great. Really fixes the sculpt. I like this figure a lot. I don't think it's like my favorite Wolverine ever. I think it still goes to the other one. But yeah, that's Wolverine for you.
Wolverine stands at about five and a half inches tall. Here's Wolverine next to the previous Wolverine, which I think has way better color scheme at least, and Jesse Heck Creative. Stop! Stay back! You're not getting near me or my popcorn! Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Jesse and the X-Men after these messages.